Boy, life is full of surprises. And uh, that was um, that was the ultimate right there. Um, you know, uh, just like just like a lot of the fellows that have been up here, that none of us got here by ourselves. And um, most of you know me a little bit. I don't like talking about myself too much. So, um, but that was some kind of tribute, and I really want to thank Bucky for saying that. Bucky's a good friend, as you as you can tell. And um, you know, Diane knows how much Thurman meant to all of us. He was our captain. Thurman, I mean, that, that says it all. Thurman, Thurman was everything to us uh, on the field. He taught us how to play, taught us how to be tough. He taught us, taught us everything. And I thank you for Renee and 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 and, uh, and Ray, Ray Negron for help, you know, nominating me. So I, I really, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm here because of uh, some wonderful people who who raised me. My my mom and dad. And, and I have two. I had two older brothers, and I have one younger brother. Um, but my, my my two older brothers and my mom and dad are, are gone now. And everything that I am, everything that uh, competitive spirit, sports, everything, sports is was really a part of my life. Uh, I, I owe it to them. They, they they taught me everything I know. My dad was a Navy chaplain. I was raised in a Christian family, and. Um, and um, my humility comes from that. So um, my, my tribute is, is, is really to my family. It's just been wonderful. Uh, I, I learned it all from my, my brothers because they were tough for me sometimes, most of the time. And, and so I learned from them. I want to give tribute to, to uh, the one woman who, who's been through everything that I've been through. We, uh, my wife, his name is Audrey. And um, September 30th, we celebrated 50 years of marriage. <laughs> I close without saying what, what she's been through and, <laughs> and putting up with me all those years and, and all the travel. But uh, we are um, we're still going strong, and uh, we're, we're we're in good shape. Uh, another surprise today, of course, was uh, the presence of my son, uh, my son Russell. Uh, he was born during the Yankee years. He was born in '75, right, right, right during those Yankee years, the year after I got traded. So uh, uh, it's, it's really a pleasure to see him. And, uh, so anyway. Uh, I also want to uh, give thanks to uh, Doc Stanley. Doc Stanley is uh, at my table. He's a good friend uh, from New York. I've known him all, all my career, and uh, uh, I'm so happy to, to be supported by such wonderful people. Thank you so much for being here. Um, okay. okay, I'll talk a little bit about myself. Um, I grew up in California like Todd did. I, I grew up in a place called Oceanside, California. And I've been honored uh, in this way, probably not as emotional as, 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 as it's been here, but uh, I'm a member of the San Diego Hall of Fame, Oceanside High School Hall of Fame, and, and UCLA Hall of Fame. And so uh, that's where I grew up. I, I lived out there because my dad was stationed out in California. And, and um, so since 10 years old, I grew up in Southern California. And I played every sport there was. I played football, basketball, baseball, like a lot of us. And uh, so sports was a big part of my life. And, um, I just got got fortunate. I was drafted um, in, in, in school, but I played three years of college football. But um, because the Cleveland Indians drafted me in 1970, I had a chance to, uh, uh, number one draft choice, I had a chance to play with a AAA club, which got me to the big leagues a lot sooner than any other club. Because Cincinnati was the other team that uh, <laughs> drafted me. Had I been drafted by them, I, I probably would have been in a minor leagues for about 10 years. But, <laughs> but I got up a little faster because of that. But uh, obviously, what I, why I'm here, of course, is six years with the Yankees as a player. And uh, that was some wonderful years. And the people to thank there, of course, there's so many. Obviously, all of my teammates. But, uh, but at the same time, 
you know, sitting at my table is Joe Martin also, and, and Billy Martin meant so much to us uh, coming up. Well. <laughs> learned so much from him, and uh, he, he was he was a big part of my career, and um, and so you know, with with him, you know, I know sure when I when I saw Cheryl come up, is that it really hit home because Elston was uh, somebody we all looked up to more than anybody in the world. And, I, uh, and, and that means a lot to me, it's, but my humility came a lot from him too, because he, he was just a, he was just that strong presence. He was, there was something strong about him every time you talked to him. Uh, but at the same time, he had a great sense of humor, kept us laughing, which was really a, a trait of our ball club, by the way. Uh, we had so much fun. You know, because you, you, you could be playing poorly and, and somebody would say something funny that would, that would that loosen you up a little bit. So I thought that was a big trademark of, of my, my years with the Yankees. And of course, being in a World Series and hitting that home run was uh, just obviously the highlight of my career. And, uh, and it was Thurman who, uh, who was our leader, you know, in 76, he was the most valuable player. And uh, I had the pleasure of hitting behind him so there, you know, he hit like 324 and drove in 100 runs or something. So he was always on base. I had Mickey Rivers and, and Roy White. So I, I was lucky enough to, uh, uh, to have the opportunity to drive in runs because of those guys. So those guys uh, made, it, made it great for me. After, you know, I spent the six years with the Yankees, but uh, I was brought back and this I really didn't expect, but it was George Steinbrenner who, uh, after my career ended with the Braves, hired me to be with the Yankees as a, as a hitting, not as a hitting instructor in the minor leagues. But then Billy, I think it was his last year, becoming a manager uh, in '88, he hired me to be a, uh, a coach for, the, and here I am, two years out of playing, and I'm I'm, I'm major league hitting coach, and so just. Uh, just a wonderful opportunity to come back to the Yankees to work with them for a couple of years. I was brought back again many years later uh, by Joe Torre. I spent three years with Joe Torre. Todd and I were together for three years in uh, St. Louis. I was hitting coach. And uh, after Joe, three years with them, he got the job of the Yankees in 96. And he was uh, just wonderful enough to uh, ask me to come on and that started my, my next career with the Yankees. I was there from 96 to 2000, and as you know, four world championships. It was just, uh, just an honor, really, to, to be around that ball club and, and to watch how their straw was part of that. And um, I learned so much from those guys. So these are the people who, who really uh, helped me be, uh, become what I've what I become. So I got a connection to everybody that was, as you know, Rick Cerrone, you know, we, we were all together with the Yankees. Um, and you know, Curtis, I've seen him on the field forever. He's, he's a lot younger than us though, so. <laughs> but uh, I told you about Todd. And, and you know, Straw, I was, I was coaching when Straw was playing with the Yankees. And, and I, want, I want to mention Bob Aspermani. And this is something that nobody really remembers, but uh, when I, I, I did sign with Cleveland, I went to AAA in Wichita, Kansas. Ken Aspermani, his brother, was my manager. And, uh, and then when I went to the big leagues, I was rookie of the year in 71, and Alvin Dark was our manager, but Ken Aspermani took his spot while I was there. He was the actual the man who told me that I got traded to the Yankees. And, and I could see it on his face because he was a, a, a huge influence uh, to me, and, and I wish I had got to play with him, play for him. A, a lot longer, but Ken Aspermani was a big man in, in my career. Thank you for having me. Thanks every, everybody, and uh, I, I can't thank you enough for being uh, inducted into the New York State <coughs> Baseball Hall of Fame. Thank you so much.